there's a billion and a half combustion engines globally that we can replace with electric engines that charge like that. This is it. What you see today is the beginning of the change. Convenience will be a key factor for consumers in how they want to charge their electric vehicles and we believe speed is going to be critical. People didn't believe that batteries can charge fast. So we first showed it on a mobile phone, now we are showing it on a scooter and the next level is to show it on a full electric vehicle. We believe that ultra-fast charging is crucial to rolling out uh, electrification and as such to making a big difference on the carbon intensity of transport. There are a number of use cases where slow charging just isn't good enough. Once you start to do longer distances or if you can't charge at home or if you are an on-demand driver, taxi driver, you just simply will not be able to do that um, if you're waiting you know, seven to ten hours for your car to recharge. So we have to look at the bigger picture and the bigger picture here that we are replacing the combustion engines with a new form of fuel. The new oil is a battery that charges like that. If you would read all the books in electrochemistry and about batteries, you will see that fast charging is not possible. You have to change the chemistry of the battery. And this is what we are doing here at Stordot, which is on its own a very massive challenge to show that this pack can be charged in five minutes without overheating. If you look at the physics of the uh, electrodes, the anode and the cathode, you can discharge fast, but charging, taking all this power and quickly store it into the battery is something that was considered to be impossible. So what actually we did, we said, let's redesign all the elements of the battery. This is a new generation of a lithium-ion battery that can actually change the rules. The breakthrough we are trying to achieve is the breakthrough in the chemistry of the cell because this is really the limiting factor today when trying to achieve ultra-fast charging. So this is the Battery Innovation Lab of Stordot. This is actually our uh, R&D uh, lab where the development process starts. In a lithium-ion battery you have an anode and a cathode and the electrolyte is actually the lithium salt or lithium ions that move from anode to cathode. When you charge, there's a potential difference that you put from the outside. Outlet. This enables all the ions to move into the anode and to be charged. Now this process has to be slow in a traditional battery because otherwise there is something that is called plating or metallization or dendrites. These are little nails that eventually puncture a hole in the separator and create a short. We are avoiding this plating or metallization with these new materials that do not enable the reaction between the lithium and the graphite that is in original batteries. Generally what you do is you prepare what we call a slurry, which is the wet part of the process where you mix all the materials together, you put the active material, the binder, the conductive additives, all of these ingredients together and stir them up like a soup. Slurry is kind of our secret sauce. <laughs> you have to coat the slurry on foil, which transforms the current. The entire industry is coating at 300 uh, micron, we are coating at 10 micron. This enables a low resistance of the uh, material and we charge all these electrodes in parallel. This, this is part of the structure of the system that is also very unique. After the slurry is coated on the foils, you put it into an oven, you dry it, then it's cut, and then the electrodes, roughly the size of credit cards, are cut from that foil. To make the battery, what we do is we stack anode over cathode and anode over cathode until we achieve the desired amount of energy for the cell. We are working with partners such as AmiCell in order to put together the pack, which is the combination of the cells that we actually manufacture here. So this is the actual battery, fast charging battery for the scooter. Although we have a really low internal resistance which enables the fast charge, we still need to cool it down and we're doing that by fans and that's why you see the openings here. The exciting moment was the first time we charged it. To see that the cooling solution works and that it doesn't overheat. All of the planning and design and everything came together and, and was working. So it was really exciting to see it the first time charging at 10 C rate, which is uh, 10 times the capacity of the cells. So since electrification is at the heart of our strategy and we believe convenient for consumers is key for electric vehicles to peak, ultra-fast charging batteries are definitely one of the key pieces in the puzzle. We believe it'll be the first time that anyone has demonstrated a full 100% charge of a scooter in five minutes. So really excited for the, the demonstration.
What we're going to do now, uh, we're going to take out a battery that uh, is already depleted. It's roughly now at 15%. Uh, and uh, this is the charger that we have designed. It comes with the fans. So we will see here, uh, once it's connected, the percentage of the battery, the time that elapses, once it reaches the full circle, it will be 100%. Now, in a total of uh, five minutes, this should fully charge. The experience of the driver is exactly like fueling. Okay, this is it, five minutes, it says complete. So Leon is gonna put it now into the scooter. Okay, we switch it on. Okay, now it's good. All right. See you. See you. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you very much. So it's about speed of charge. We haven't seen that kind of a speed before. We will come back with a demonstration of a five minute charging of a vehicle that will go 300 kilometers.